Recent publications have shown that childhood cancer survivors treated with abdominal radiation are at increased risk for diabetes. And these reports have actually shown an increase in insulin-dependent and non-insulin-dependent diabetes. Um, and the mechanism is just pretty unclear. So we designed um, this study as a pilot with, with that sort of gap in the literature in mind in an effort to clarify you know, what kind of derangements are happening in, this, in these childhood cancer survivors and also to clarify whether there's an autoimmune process underlying the development of diabetes in this population since there are these reports of an increase of insulin dependent or type 1 diabetes which are usually autoimmune in nature. So what we are doing at Memorial is bringing in patients who have been previously treated with abdominal radiation. They had to have had abdominal radiation at our center so that we can reconstruct um, doses to the different parts of the pancreas, which we think are important in this mechanism. And we are asking them to fast overnight and then come into clinic early in the morning for an oral glucose tolerance test. So basically what we're doing is checking fasting insulin and glucose levels, and then we check um, insulin and glucose at 30, 60, 90, and 120 minutes after the consumption of an oral glucose load, which is basically like a bottle of concentrated sugar, like a flat Fanta, kind of. And then we're also checking correlative blood tests, including hemoglobin A1C, and then three types of autoantibodies that are typically present in people with type 1 diabetes. Um, and then finally, we check all of our participants height weight and waist circumference just to sort of correlate you know is there something going on with obesity or increased abdominal adiposity or anything like that so in this so far we've enrolled 26 participants in this study they happen to be just in term it, it's sort of a random sampling of people who are interested in participating or parents of survivors who are interested and then the kids assent to participate. Um, so, so far we've enrolled and completed testing on 26 participants. None of these patients have been obese, just sort of coincidentally, and actually nine patients have derangements of glucose and insulin. So no one has overt diabetes, no one has positive autoantibodies, um, but we are seeing these very subtle derangements in glucose and insulin in, in these young patients in whom we wouldn't suspect that there's any problem going on just based on the routine testing that we do on an annual basis. So I think that this is signaling to us that, that there, there is something going on already, you know, at a young age in participants who are otherwise non-obese, you know, and otherwise healthy, um, which is showing us that we have to think about this issue a little bit more closely in young survivors of childhood cancer treated with abdominal radiation. The other thing that our pilot data has shown is that there doesn't appear to be any autoimmune process since no one has had positive autoantibodies. But again, it's a small sample, so can't draw any definitive conclusions yet.